Today on TQA Weekly, I explain what 2 to the power 32 means for your operating system. This is TQA Weekly. I'm the host, Steve Smith, aka Zedaxis, and yes, you may call me that. And if ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or head over to the contact form on my website, tqaweekly.com. For those who prefer to have show notes and sources and other ways of downloading this exact episode, tqaweekly.com slash se3. EP23 will bring you to the correct episode where you can download to your heart's content or see the sources for this specific episode. So one of the questions is, how much RAM can a 32-bit operating system and processor actually use? And this is more a question of how much RAM can it assign? There is a maximum amount of physical memory that can be assigned in a 32-bit operating system or RAM, uh, processor, and it comes out to what's written on the backboard, two to the power of 32. So while I was trying to figure out what the mathematical equation for this was, I actually forgot it was very simple to calculate. It comes out to 4,096 megs of RAM or four gigs. Many of you will actually look in your system and never see 4,096 megs of RAM. You'll see three, you'll see 2.8, you'll see 3.15, you'll see 3.5, and you won't know what's going on. So the answer to that is Windows or your operating system of choice is actually reserving memory for hardware in your computer. The bigger your graphics card, the smaller amount of RAM you seem to have. But remember, you still have 4,096 megs of RAM. There is a way to actually extend the amount of physical memory that can be addressed. And this is through the use of physical address extension. I provided a link to that in my show notes. However, most consumer operating systems will not activate this or use it at all. So you are stuck with the amount of memory your operating system will allow. Now, for those who are trying to figure out how much RAM a 64-bit processor can actually use, that's another two-part question. So it comes out to two to the power of 64. And just to make it very simple for you, it comes out to 16.8 million terabytes of RAM. No way to manufacture that or produce that in the way that we could currently use to this day. So we'll have 64 bit processors for a while. However, most operating systems for consumers actually limit the amount of RAM you can use. In the cases of the really most cheap forms of Windows, the most basic forms, you'll have a maximum of eight gigs of RAM, way lower than the actual amount. And if you pay a lot more, you can get up to 192 gigs of RAM instead. So basically, we're being artificially limited by something that we can actually physically address more. Next week, I'm gonna be sticking an operating system on a watch that you'll be able to plug into any computer and use the internet anonymously. Remember to like this episode if you're interested in today's topic, share if you think someone else could benefit from this, and subscribe if you wish to learn more. On top of having our own application that you can download from the Android market, you can always send me your questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories. Find other ways of subscribing to my show, subscribe to the newsletter, and much more at tqaweekly.com. Have a great day, and stay safe online. Goodbye.